age cuties, it's Friends Friday, so you know what that means. Your mates can help you win today. How? Well, answer sharing is on, so you'll be able to see your friends Abby's popping up alongside their answers before the time is up. Perhaps you'll follow their lead, just be careful who you trust to get it right. I'm Shazza Carpenter, your BFF for life, and this is HQ Trivia, where caring is sharing. The rules here are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You have 10 seconds to tap the answer. You get it correct, you move on. Answer all 12 right and you win or you split the cash. And don't forget, inviting friends to HQ using your code can score you those extra lives. You can use one per game, just not on the final round. Now today we are giving away a buddy buddy 1,000 pounds. That's enough to host a fab dinner party for your nearest and dearest to snag every single season of Friends and to buy a generous round for some of those new mates you met on HQ. But before you splash the cash, you've got to stash that cash. Let's get to the quizzing, shall we? With Q1. Which of the following is the name of a legendary Budapest-born escape artist? Magic Mike, Big Bird, Harry Houdini. Legendary illusionist and escape artist. He was great at escaping his clothes, but this is the one time we aren't looking for Magic Mike, the Hungarian hunk of hoodoo, Harry Houdini. Of course, 136,000 of you mastered that one. He was the master of sensational escape acts, but even Houdini would struggle to get out of the game on that question. It was very easy. Q2, what does apples and pears refer to in rhyming slang? Stairs, armchair, paw. Do you know your cockney rhyming slang? Apples and pears. Well, Paul rhymes with fall, and that's exactly what you'll be doing if you picked him for this one. Putting your feet up the energetic way, it means stairs. Of course, apples and pears as those stairs. 130,000 of you are moving up those stairs towards that big win. Now, just to confuse you more, Fred of stairs, troubles and cares, stocks and shares all mean stairs as well. And it's shout out time everyone. Hello to Rob and the WUC gang who love the sausage questions. Happy birthday Lewis who's 21 today and to his girlfriend Lauren Wilson. Hi Lindsay Jackson from Cheltenham, the best fiance in the world apparently. And it's finals week at Hyatt Baker Hall in Bristol. Good luck guys. Hello Alan Ward on his new job from the KCC crew and good luck to all of you players in the game. Here we go with Q3. Which animal is associated with the beginning of an MGM movie? Unicorn, lion, sloth. You've seen it a million times, but do you remember? The opening title, sure, go on a bit, but the only sloths that work are behind the scenes, roaring across reality, it's a lion. A lion is that animal, 126,000 of you roaring on to the next round. Leo the lion has been the Hollywood studio's mascot since 1957, appearing in the logo at the beginning of each of their movies. Now you remember, right? Q4, what is a South Korean couple most likely to do to show they are in love? Get many petties, wear matching outfits, eat pink food. South Korean love, a little different to UK love. They're going subtle with it, but which of these sneaky signs show South Koreans are in love? Tweedledee and Tweedledum, they wear matching outfits. 98,000 of you meeting your match here on Q4. Originally a sign of honeymooners, the trendy tradition has now been adopted by new couples as well. Q5, where in the UK was the founder of the NHS born? Wales, Scotland, England. which is glad he was born. The first NHS hospital was in Manchester, but where did its founder hail from? Rising up from the valleys, he was born in Wales. Wales, your winning answer here. 43,895 of you with a healthy win, but we lost 55,000 of you on that brutal-ish question. As Labour's health minister, Aniron Bevan made sure that even the poorest of us could always afford health care, and we appreciate that. Q6. In motor racing, which of these is not the name? of a corner at Silverstone. Cops, druids, woodcuts. What do you think? Is your heart racing right now? You're almost halfway there. Three woodland wonders, but which of them isn't part of the British Grand Prix? The one corner everyone cuts is druids. 
Druids is the answer we were looking for. 20,739 of you tearing around that bend. Druids may have been left out of Silverstone, but they do appear as a corner of the Brands Hatch circuit in Kent. Q7, which of these grammatical terms is not also the name of a type of butterfly, question mark, comma, apostrophe. This one you won't find in a butterfly house. They're all marks on a page, but which of them can't fly off it again, floating above the Apostrophe is not a type of butterfly. And that was our first savagery of the game. 16,000 of you. Gone, 4,524 of you fluttering on. Now the question mark is named after its punctuation shaped four wings while the comma has a comma shaped marking on its belly. Q8, which of these characters is not an Autobot from Transformers? Ironhide, Wheeljack, Starscream. You know your Transformers well for this one or be a good guesser. It's hard to tell which mound of metal is who, but which of these rocking robots is a bad guy? The high-pitched Winger himself. It's Starscream. Who's screaming now? 2,021 of you are screaming because you got it right. Originally an animated TV series in the 80s, Michael Bay transformed it into a CG explosion fest in 2007. Q9, which of these dishes has a linguistic connection to a French beef stew? Pho, ramen, miso, or miso. Things are really beefing up here. They're all broth in a bowl, but which one sounds awfully similar to a continental stew going Francais with its phonetics? It's pho. Pho is what we're talking about here. 950 of you making a meal out of Q9. Its origin may be unknown, but experts believe that pho could be the Vietnamese version of pot au pho. Q10, Alan Rickman auditioned for which of these BBC comedy programs, the young ones, Black Adder, Red Dwarf. Three great classics and the late great Alan Rickman. He sure had the wardrobe for Black Adder, but that's not the show we're after here. Severus Snape in space. It was Red Dwarf. Remember Red Dwarf? We loved Red Dwarf. 222 of you got that right. And we're going to go with Savage here on Q10 because that was a rough one. 700 of you gone, 222 of you still in this race. In a parallel universe, Rickman starred as the haughty hologram Rimmer and Chris Barry played Hans Gruber in Die Hard. That would have been interesting. Q11, which of these authors did not win the Nobel Prize for Literature? James Joyce, George Bernard Shaw, W.B. Yeats. Great author, but didn't take this prize home. Three literary greats from the Emerald Isle, but who got snubbed by the Swedes, giving us Ulysses, but getting a no from Nobel is James Joyce, is the author in question here. 122 of you got that right. Bye-bye bookmarks, because we are heading into the final chapter. 122 players left in the game. Another 10 using their extra lives to get back in. 1,000 pounds up for grabs as we speak. Good luck, players. Q12, which modern hit samples a piece from the 1968 movie Romeo and Juliet. Alejandro, dangerous, old money. Choose wisely on this one, players. It's the big one right here. Nino Rota's What is a Youth is on the soundtrack, but which of these songs does it also appear in? Lady Gaga went Italian with the intro to Alejandro, but it wasn't one of Nino's. The polar opposite of young love is Lana Del Rey's Old Money for the win. And we have 50 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Well done to our 50 winners. You are coming into some new money today. You totally killed it. You're taking home 20 pounds clean. We've got Kaja Paramo with her puppy right there. We've got Chloe Crew. You can hang out with the crew tonight. 
Sab, The Bean, we've got James W over there as well taking a selfie. What are you guys going to do with the cash? Maybe get a matching outfit with your boo, get some pho for dinner, it's quite tasty, or just celebrate with your mates. 20 pounds, not bad at all. What a ride, HQTs. You came, you played, you totally slayed. As always, you can find me on the socials. Request your shout outs for tonight or just say hi. And we've got more cash coming your way in a few hours. I'll be back at 9 p.m. with another chance for you to snag 1,000 pounds. That's right. Until then, have an awesome rest of the day and I will see you tonight. Bye. <laughs>